Welcome in, everybody, to the Gramlick and MacLean podcast, video, show, whatever we are, <laughs> presented by our great friends over at Ingalls, the official supermarket of Gramlick and MacLean. We are in a different spot today, yeah, Mac. We are in Little John Coliseum, my favorite of Coliseum, course, I've got to say. And we are a football show. That's right. But today, we're switching it up. We're talking about your actual favorite sport. Basketball. Come on. Our guy Ben hooked us up big time. This show is absolutely loaded. We're talking with Coach. We're talking to guards galore with my guy Joe <laughs> Chase and, of course, P.J. Hall. Mr. Clemson. I've heard some people calling him that. Oh. I think I share the title with him. <laughs> uh, and, of course, our friends over at Ingles. You're going to see it everywhere in the Coliseum today. Can't do this without them. Uh, but a loaded tournament because mm-hmm. we're playing a little basketball in Asheville. We are. The Asheville Championship is going to be in Asheville. November <laughs> 10th and 12th. Trick question for people back home. Yeah, exactly. Super excited about this tournament. Clemson's playing in it. Yeah. It's just a quick drive up the road if you're in Greenville, wherever you are. Right. And it's going to be a great event. Maryland's there. Davidson, UAB. A really good start to basketball season. Would love to see some Clemson fans no up at the Asheville Championship. And, of course, Ingles super involved yeah. with this tournament. They're everywhere. That's where the headquarters is. They're doing all their things. Listen, before I go grab a ball and go shoot down here. Matt, we got get in the interviews. paint. Go got, rebound. No, no, I'm a shooter. Come on. We're <laughs> on the outside. We've got some great interviews today. Quick, a message from our friends over at Ingles, and we're going to get to it. The underdog. The long shot. The nobody from nowhere. Never going to happen in your dreams, kid. 100 to one shot. We know something about that. We're with you every step of the way. Coach Brad Brownell, man, great to see you. Thank you for letting us be in the house. This is amazing. (laughs) Great to talk a little basketball. Uh, You guys are right in the thick of it. How's the team doing? We're good. Um, Really excited about the year. Guys have had an unbelievable offseason. Great additions. a little bit of, of bumps and bruises. A couple guys we're still waiting on to get healthy, but uh, couldn't be more excited. We got an older group back. We had uh, coming off a really good year, yeah. so should be a lot of fun in Little John this yeah. year. It should be, and we're excited to be in Little John. This place looks great. Coach, P.J. Hall, we know how special he is, local guy, and how much this program means to him. Right now, you talk about the portal, and we'll get to that, but sometimes it's getting your own players back, right. and he was able to test the waters. What was that process like for you with him, and how big is it to have him back? Well, it's really big to have him back tremendous player and leader and just uh, a guy who's played through a lot of injuries. Um, People would be shocked to know what he's had to deal with during his career and this is really the first year that he's been healthy. So excited for that. I think he showed very well in the NBA uh, combine and and some workouts with teams. Um, You know, they want to see him rebound a little bit more. They want to see him out on the perimeter a little bit more. Um, but I think he showed that he can shoot the ball out there and that uh, he's more healthy than he was during last season, moving very well, um, really a competitive guy and certainly a big leader on this team. Yeah, yeah and obviously P.J. is going to be a big contributor, but what about Chase Hunter and just the growth that you have seen from him transitioning from that shooting guard to right. a point guard position, but then just his leadership seems to be a big part of what yeah. Clemson's doing right now no as far question. as developing well, he's, players. He's grown tremendously both on and off the court, and that's what you like to see as a coach. He's, he's becoming a leader. Um, he's a guy that I thought had a really good uh, year last year, 13 and a half points, four and a half assists, and the guy never played the position. And so uh, I thought he really had a good mix of finding his game and scoring and doing the things he can do to shoot, has improved his three-point shooting, but also getting other guys involved, Hunter Tyson, P.J. Hall, Brevin Galloway last year. I thought he just had a really good mix to his game. And when he did, I thought that's when we were at our best offensively. So super proud of him this year now. And he's a kind of a quieter guy. He and PJ are kind of opposites in terms of (laughs) personality. PJ is very loud and fun loving and carefree and all over the place. uh, Chase is very quiet, pretty serious, um, but starting to come out of his shell. We're really proud of him for that. And think those two guys together are going to be a really fun year in Little John. He definitely is. Coach, we we were reminiscing on our old days back in the old Little John. and Before you were famous. Yes, well. <laughs> now you're famous. Well, McLean's you know, getting there, but yeah. you are famous. We're working on Mac and his name recognition. Um, but things have changed with the portal. Okay, your off season used to be maybe a little more chill. I know you right. still had to do a lot. But now you got to get in that portal quick. Yeah. What is that like, and how did that work with Joe Girard? You're bringing a guy that you've coached against for a while, yeah. and now he's in your program. Yeah, it's roster management <laughs> has never been more – difficult um <laughs> you know you're you're certainly i think you know you really have to treat your guys extremely well and you got to have tremendous communication with them throughout the year 
um, and their families uh, in order to retain as many players as possible. You're still always going to lose a guy or two. Somebody's maybe not playing quite as much as they would like. And hey, with the amount of time that these guys work, that, that's understandable that somebody would want to go somewhere else and play a little bit more. Um, but then you got to go into the portal, and it's like speed dating. I mean, it is, it is <laughs> wow. quick. Yeah. You, you've you got to be on it. You got to you got to know what you want. You got to know who you want. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to contact them immediately. Start making your sell, your pitch. Um, you know, one thing I think helped us both with Jack Clark and Joe Girard both was they were within the league, so they yeah. were guys that had played against our team, seen how we play, were familiar, especially Joe because he's been there for four years, with how we kind of play and what our guys are like. Um, Players talk, players know each other. Um, and so I think uh, the fact that we had Chase Hunter coming back, a guard uh, at the point who, who we, we really think will fit nicely with Joe. And then you have a big guy like PJ. Hey man, I'd like to come in and play with those guys. And so that helped us a lot. Um, Coach Dolan did a really good job uh, recruiting Joe in, in, in a short amount of time. And we kind of got into it quick and, and we're thankful that we could lock him up. Mm-hmm. For, for some people that maybe haven't paid as much attention, just Clemson fans that are dialed in on you guys, can you talk about these additions and maybe what they bring and how they're going to help you take another step? Yeah, Joe, Joe Girard, obviously an outstanding scorer um, mm-hmm. and really can play kind of with the ball in his hands, can play out of some ball screens, but an unbelievable shooter, uh, uh, a guy who I think will really stretch the court for us, open things up for P.J. Uh, Jack Clark is kind of a versatile forward, um, rebounds the ball well, can make a three. Uh, good size. I mean, he's he's like six nine. We yeah. got to get him healthy. He's had some off season surgery and and still battling back from that. And so we're hopeful that maybe we'll get him here, you know, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, but really, just added depth uh, along with Chauncey Wiggins, kind of at a big wing forward mm-hmm. spot with R J and, and Ian, um, and just a guy who's experienced. Fifth year, rebounded the ball really well at NC State last year. I think he's going to shoot even better this year for us. Uh, so excited about that. Then we signed Big Boz, yeah. Um, yeah. kind of a backup center for uh, for PJ, and really just a guy who wanted to be at this level. had a had a nice little career at Greensboro, right. six ten, knows how to play, not as athletic as as some guys at this level, and that's probably why he played at Greensboro. But a guy who really appreciates being here, wants to be a coach, mm-hmm. so he's very knowledgeable. I think he'll really help us. And then we we brought in Asa Thomas, who's a mm-hmm. uh, a freshman, six uh, six from. Chicago, uh, a, a really good shooter, kind of knows how to play. Um, I think he'll fit in nicely. Maybe needs a little bit of time to get used to the speed and right. physicality of the level. And then Jake Hybrider is a guy that we don't talk about very much, but was a 12, 13 point scorer at Air Force. Played two years there in, in the uh, Mountain West Conference and a guy who's very versatile at the guard spot. Yeah. So uh, several guys this year, several in the portal. Last year we only brought in one. This right. year we did go into the yeah. portal a little bit more. And now you talk about using the portal, the roster management, and the coaching staff did a great job helping right. recruit those guys. What about the players that are on the team and how they were able to also recruit like a Joe Girard and have those guys come in? That, that's critical. I, I think, you know, kids talk on their visits. Uh, guys want to play with each other. Spending time is something that we really sell during the recruiting process is spending time with our players. We, we, we set aside a lot of time. and. Again, I think just the familiarity with our guys within the league, it, there's a respect level with our players mm-hmm. and, and how guys go about their business. And certainly we've got a guy like P.J. Hall who's a tremendous recruiter, yes. a big character <laughs> and fun to be around. And so uh, he and Chase did a really good job with these guys, and I think that was that was clearly evident in this class. We heard some golf may have been involved in, That's in right. that situation. Yeah. And Asa, Asa Thomas is a star now. Oh, really? Oh. That, that dude was is a okay. big-time golfer. Oh. Well, Coach um, Brownell can, oh. can, uh, I can play. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think I can play with Asa, though. Oh, I haven't yeah. been out there, wow. but what I'm hearing, oh. my man is right around par. Oh, so my God. All right, we need to get Asa really out play. there. we got to sort out there. There we go. Wow. There we very go. impressive, very impressive. Well, Coach, you know, coming off the year you guys had last year, 14 wins in the league, in- incredible. Can you feel a little bit of a buzz? I know it feels like for you, you know how good this team can be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. P.J. Hall's talking, we want to win this league. I mean, that's yeah. one of his goals. That yeah. was obvious. How's the buzz for you, and what do you think this team can achieve? No, I do think there's a really good buzz with our team and our program. I think we've recruited well, um, not just this year, but we've got some young guys within the program. Uh, R.J. Godfrey, Dylan Hunter, Chauncey mm-hmm. Wiggins, guys who are sophomores, Josh Beadle that have been here a while, kind of working to pay their dues, kind of like a Hunter Tyson type yeah. who just they're just mm-hmm. getting bigger and stronger, getting used to the level, getting used to the system. And uh, the best thing about that group right there is those guys were all healthy all off season, mm-hmm. and so they've really improved. And so what that's done, I think, is add depth to our team. Last year, those guys were freshmen, and we had to sub those guys in a lot. And there were times they played well, but there were times. 
that they look like freshmen, and, and it was hard for us. This year, they're much bigger, they're much stronger, they're much faster, and I think our fan base kind of understands that. There's some excitement within the new players that are coming to the team who we've talked about, but there's also, uh, our fans love watching guys get better. They yeah. love watching the development, and yeah. I think that's one of the things that the portal's got everybody a little bit, you know, on the, on the outside, right. a little bit mm -hmm. at ease or uh, uh, upset or, are uncomfortable with is probably the better way of saying it is because they they want to see kids develop they like watching guys stay within your program the chase hunters the pj halls that have been with us for four and five years hunter tyson last year you know you're a season ticket holder you enjoy coming and watching guys uh, improve throughout their career and i think that's something we do very well as a, as a program here no question about it coach one thing that i always love about you know, college basketball and even at high school level is the in-season tournaments and, and getting that opportunity to, to win a championship, right. get some hardware. Right. Uh, you guys are going to Asheville, playing in the Asheville Classic. What does that opportunity present for your team and why is that important to you? Well, just like you said, tournament basketball, it's, it's preparing for ACC tournaments, NCAA tournaments when you, you have games in short amount of time, quick turnarounds and, and good competition. Obviously, we're going to open uh, with UAB. Um, in the first round game and then if we win we're going to play the winner of Davidson and, and Maryland two very good programs and um, the, the interesting thing with this year's tournament it's the first weekend of the season so yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we got to be on it Wait. right away so usually you can kind of ease into some things but this year you got to go and so um, I'm hopeful that having an older group although we do have a lot of new players that we're trying to blend I'm hoping that that'll be good for us how does that I guess how do you have to prepare differently for that and of course with it being so early well, you've got, to, you've got to do your research from last year as much as you can. And then obviously you've got to analyze all those teams and right. see how many new guys they brought sure. in. And, the, and the, the, the scary thing a little bit is guys, coaches do change things year to year. And so you're going to go in a little blind right. uh, where if that tournament was in Thanksgiving, maybe a little bit more right. normal, you'd have five or six games to kind of, kind of work off. Now you're just kind of guessing a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we'll be prepared and ready to go. No yeah, now obviously there'll be an opportunity for a Clemson contingency to yeah. go to Asheville, which is right up the road. That's right. But talk about just how important it is, the crowd here in Little John, and how that can help your team yeah. each and every game. Well, I, I always say Little John is one of the best places uh, to play in the country. This place gets unbelievably loud. Um, it's steep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The students are right on you. Um, it's, a, it's a tremendous home court uh, when we packed this place. Last year was – we had tremendous home court mm -hmm. advantage. I think we played extremely well. I think we only lost one ACC game at home. Uh, and it really is important, getting yeah. our students out, getting them involved, getting them excited. Um, and then just, uh, again, our, our regular fan base, our season ticket holders coming out on a consistent basis and, and supporting this group. I think our guys really appreciate that. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Coach. We Ready appreciate you, man. So much fun and uh, good luck all season. We appreciate Thank you it. very much. Good to be with you yeah. guys. College basketball is kicking off with the Asheville Championship at the Harris Cherokee Center Asheville on November 10th and 12th, featuring my Clemson Tigers, Maryland, Davidson, and UAB. Tickets are on sale now at AshevilleChampionship.com. Save your spot, cheer on your team at the Asheville Championship, November 10th and 12th. Again, that's AshevilleChampionship.com. Get your tickets today. All right, guys, welcome back in. We're here with Chase Hunter, my yes, man. Sir, Great yes, to be sir. with you today. Fifth yeah. year senior. Uh, man, I just want to start with the improvement that you made from last year, nearly doubling your points per game. For sure. What went into that, man? What went into that success? I think it was a lot of work, a lot of work and a lot of, you know, confidence instilled in me by the coaches and my teammates. And, um, you know, last year was a great year for me, great year for our team. But, you know, we plan to excel on that and be even better next year. Chase, you've been here for a minute. Mm -hmm. You have another year after this. We won't get into that yeah, right sure, now. We'll sure, keep sure. that, you know, uh, under wraps. But uh -huh. you had a red shirt year. Mm -hmm. You've really been in this program for a while. Uh -huh. How have these coaches continued to pour into you where uh -huh. some kids might have transferred, some kids might have said, I want a new start. For sure. But you stuck around. What has this program meant to you? It's meant a lot. You know, I think about, you know, my whole career a lot. I think about the trials, the ups and downs, the great years, the great games, the bad games. And, you know, the coaches have been with me through, shoot, the bad, the ugly, the good. Great. And, you know, I think that for them, that's something that's big, you know, being a coaching staff, because, you know, usually when, when kids aren't doing well, the first thing is to kind of be negative and kind of push sure. them away. So for them to be positive, positive with me since the beginning, you know, it's been big. You know, it's been a big reason why I'm still here. And I think that, you know, that just goes to show how good of a coach Brownell is and how good of a staff he can bring in each year just to, you know, keep his players going. Mm. 
Yeah. yeah, and now one of the things, as Kelly just mentioned, you are an OG because you've sure. been here for a few sure. years. But mm -hmm. each year you have an opportunity to progress and yep. get better each year. Mm -hmm. What have you done this past off season, getting ready for this upcoming season? Yeah, coming off that great year, I think for me was just to work on my mental. You know, just because you have a great year, you know, there are different different things that you can work on to get better. So for me, it was conditioning. Just working on my mental. I've been doing more yoga. You know, things to just you know work on the mental side of the game, and um, you know, like I said, conditioning. Just mental and just really staying confident in myself. So that's kind of what I've been working on this summer. Yeah. Do you have a favorite yoga pose then? Uh, I would say it's the the bridge pose and yeah. then the um, geez, I can't think of it right now. But I do do yoga. So <laughs> <laughs> just know I do. I am in the yoga. Oh, if you said bridge, yes, I got yeah, it. For yeah, sure, so for sure, for sure, for sure. Yoga. Yeah. No, I believe you, Chase, because Rich, um, for some of the yogis out here, oh, yes. you don't necessarily have a, a, a favorite pose. It's more yeah. of an overall practice. Well, yes, it's just overall feel. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. State of mind, exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But Chase, uh, Coach Brownell went mm -hmm. out and brought in some guys uh, sure. in the off season in the transfer portal. Joe Girard is one of those guys yep. who is a well-known ACC player coming mm -hmm. in here to Clemson. What, did, what was that process like for you, hearing you guys were going after Joe and yeah. then when he decided to come? Yeah, you know, Coach actually talked to me before we, we started to recruit Joe, and my thing was like, let's do it. You know, I played against Joe all four or five years that I've been here, and, you know, there have been good battles, and he's put up a lot of buckets on me. So I was like, <laughs> let's, bring that, let's bring that guy in and let's get, you know, another great guard in here that can, you know, take the pressure off me some. Mm -hmm. You know, last year I kind of had the ball in my hands a lot, but now I can be able to run in transition, mm -hmm. you know, just show another part of my game and, you know, adding him would be, be a great add. How sure. freeing is that? I mean, to everything mm -hmm. you just said, the pressure, and, and maybe you can be a little more off the ball. Yeah. Just as a natural scorer, mm -hmm. what, how does that change your game? You know, last year, changing from the two to the one, it, it was a big jump. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just because I am a – coming out of high school, I wanted to score the ball. Right. You know, that was something that I loved doing. And then uh, – but I'm also a great passer. I can read the game, you know, make some great passes, but – you know, having someone like Joe, you'll be able to, now I can still play the one, I can find him on skip passes, I can find him on driving kicks and he'll knock down the shot. But now he can do the same for me. Mm. So now it's like, I can show that extra side of my game and um, you know, it'll be good for both of us this year, for sure. Yeah, and one of the things, obviously you have transfers coming in, mm -hmm. but what about when somebody like PJ Hall decides yep. to come back? Yeah, for what sure. What type of impact does that mean for this program? You know, the biggest thing for us this year with PJ is now he's going to be 100% healthy. You know, he's not, last year, I think the first five games, he he could barely even run up the court five times. You know, it was, he was getting tired quick, but now I think this, having this whole summer for him, you know, being able to just work out, um, get his conditioning back up, and now he's his confidence is way up. So, you know, it's going to be great having that having our, our transfers and PJ back. It's, it's going to be great for sure. Chase, last year, you guys had a great year. You mm -hmm. won 14 games in the ACC most yeah. ever in Clemson history, 14 and six in the league. That's exceptional. For sure. Didn't make the tournament, which, yeah. look, everyone up here can say we all thought yeah. that was ridiculous. For sure. Yes. For sure. And I know you did as well. So yeah. what kind of motivation is that mm -hmm. for you guys this year? You know, for me, what I've been telling the guys is we got to win the ones we're supposed to win, mm -hmm. you know, and that was the thing that happened last year was we had some games where we we're playing a lesser opponent. You know, we weren't really locked in. I, I wouldn't say we weren't really locked in, but we didn't we didn't go in with the same mentality we were if it was a top 15 matchup, sure. you know, and I think that for us this year, it's coming into every game like putting our hard hat on and, you know, knowing that we're going to win those easy ones. And then when those big big time game comes, we got to perform. You know, I think that that's going to be the, the difference from last year into this year. So what, sure. what is what has been the biggest difference, I guess, of this team? You talk about that motivation and, sure. and the mm -hmm. summer workouts, the uh -huh. conditioning, you know, camp. Mm -hmm. And then now where you are at this element. I mean, what's the biggest difference maybe that you've seen from this group? Um, let me see. You know, I wouldn't say that there was a big difference in terms of, you know, our mentality mm -hmm. going into the season. I think that the personnel we have is, is going to be a little different. I think that, you know, last year we had Hunter Tyson, Brevin Galloway, those are two that left, but now we're adding Jack Clark. Um, you know, like we talked about, Joe Girard, mm -hmm. a healthy P.J. Hall. I think with, with those assets to this team, it's like it's going to bring a different flavor, a different, you know, now we got two guys that can score really well in the backcourt. We got Jack Clark who can... You know, you know, pop and screen and hit a three. We got R.J. Godfrey, Chauncey, Dylan, Josh, mm -hmm. who've been working this summer and have gotten way better. So I think that, you know, with with the pieces that we added and then the the, lo uh, the lower class that's gotten better, you know, it's just gonna it's gonna gel together and make a make a great team. Yeah. 
One thing that we're seeing more and more in college basketball is in-season tournaments. Okay. And yeah. you guys are mm-hmm. going to be participating in the Asheville Championship. For sure, for sure. Uh, going up against UAB in that first round. Yeah. And then obviously Davidson and Maryland mm-hmm. are there too. Mm-hmm. What does that mean in terms of how that's going to help you for the rest of the season? It's going to be big. You know, I know it's a couple of players um, for UAB that are, that are great players. They're a great team over there. I think starting off the year with a tournament like that and being able to, you know, win those games mm-hmm. and, um, you know, compete against those high level teams mm-hmm. will be will just be great for us in terms of, you know, for the postseason play when we have some tough games down the road. So I think that, you know, that tournament will be great for us in terms we we, we want to win all of those games. Yeah. We want to win the whole tournament. And so, um, yeah, that'll be great for us going into the postseason. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and it's just right up the road. In yeah, Nashville. right up the road you get in Nashville. A contingency yes, sir. of Clemson fans yep, there, right? Yep. <laughs> Need all the fans there for that. Yep. Chase, you were saying, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the guys. I'm telling mm-hmm. them this, telling for them sure. that. How has your leadership role really grown? I, I can kind of tell that it has. For sure, for sure. Yeah. You know, I give props to Hunter Tyson, you know, and people before me like Amir Sims that have kind of paved the way for, for me. Um, I would say five years ago, I probably wouldn't even be, be able to talk right here wow. as well as I am, you <laughs> wow. know, just in terms of of that but um yeah they helped me a lot you know just on the verbal side and then on the mental side of it just you know just using your voice and being able to you know tell the younger guys you know the things that I've learned you know over my time here so yeah it's just just being more confident in yourself and just using your voice that's amazing man well hey we appreciate your time yes, brother sir, this appreciate was so you much all. fun sure. uh, Chase thanks for joining us brother. yes sir appreciate you Joe Gerard the third man, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Great to have another fellow shooter Come on. Uh, on the show here <laughs> yes, today. Uh, you just hit that three piece, man. Um, I really just want to start with uh, you're in Clemson. Yes, you're wearing sir. a little different orange, man. Mm-hmm. I've watched you for you know four years and and seen the way that you played at Cuse and, and now you're here. And I think a lot of people are very excited. Um, what went into that decision, man, for, for you to come to come to Clemson? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, you know, I love Syracuse, love my time there. Uh, Coach Beheim was great. And, you know, obviously when he retired, it just kind of opened another avenue for me. And um, although COVID had, you know, all of his downfalls, it was a blessing in disguise to get that extra year Mm -hmm. and uh, be able to go into the transfer portal. And then having played against these guys for four years, um, you know, Coach Donlin called, you know, pretty early right when I entered the portal and just started building a relationship with him and Coach Brownell. And I know the culture that they had here. I know the style of play they had here. Um, and especially with last year, um, you know, they had a great year and I knew some of those key pieces were coming back. And for me, I'm all about winning. And I made the uh, Sweet 16 my sophomore year and have kind of been itching to get back. And uh, I felt like this spot um, gives me a really great chance to, you know, make March Madness and, you know, make a pretty deep run. Yeah, I think it was a really smart decision, Joe. I'll say that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, and, you know, just to change it up a little bit for your fifth year, when you came down here, when did you visit? Like, how did that yeah. process go? And how have you found Clemson to be different than Syracuse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, it was kind of hectic and kind of busy right in the portal right away. Um, I mean, within like a week, I had, you know, I think it was like 11 or 12, you know, in-home visits at my house back in Glens it's Falls. It's like you're oh a uh, senior in high school. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it was compared to. And, you know, you just kind of, the harder part was that you had to build these relationships and get this trust within like two months right. because, you know, there's so many people entering the portal now and so many people who want that spot. Um, so you kind of have to go with your gut and trust the people around you to kind of make the right decision. And, um, you know, after doing all those in-home visits, I kind of narrowed it down to the two schools that I really felt I could flourish at and, you know, kind of make a, like I said, another deep run. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, after those, whatever, 10, 11 in-home visits, I set up the two visits to here in LSU. Mm-hmm. And uh, after those visits, I kind of, you know, sat back home with my parents, talked it over, um, felt where I was going to have the best, you know, experience as a, as a college athlete. Um, and then obviously experience on the court to, you know, kind of set yourself up for the future. And ultimately it was here. Um, like I said, Coach Brownell um, and his staff have built a great culture and um, what they do here. And it kind of suits my style and kind of the need for me to, uh, you know, I guess flourish and keep wanting to play basketball. Right. Yeah. Now it's one thing with all those in-home visits and you're talking with the coaching staff, but what was it like when you came to visit and the players, how they embraced you and the opportunity of having you play at Clemson? Yeah, that was big for me. Um, you know, one of the you know, things that stuck out here is that, you know, I was kind of familiar with all the players having played against them for four years. Um, that was kind of a pro and con I was trying to weigh um, when, you know, in the portal. Do I want to stay in the ACC because all the teams already know me? Uh, but I could also stay here because I already know all these guys as well. Mm. Um, and, you know, coming here, it, it was just kind of like open arms. All the guys were great. Um, all the coaches were great. They, and it seemed like, you know, I had only been, I'd already been there for four years. Um, so that was what kind of made me feel really comfortable. And the place is great, you know. Uh, driving through Clemson when you come here on a away on an away game, you don't really get to see much, and you don't see, you know, there's much to do here. But you know, actually having to live here and you know being out on the lake, I love being on the water, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It kind of just fit right in for me and kind of felt like home. So 
um, seeing this place as a, on a visit actually, you know, helped its case a lot. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, we talked with Chase, and he talked about how he was a big proponent of Clemson going and getting mm-hmm. you in the portal, yeah. which I think says a lot about his maturity, yeah. too, but also knowing you guys can help each other. You yeah. can both play off mm-hmm. ball. You can both play with the ball in your hand. How excited are you to play with Chase? No, 100%. Um, you know, that was one of the things that I think the first phone call uh, with Coach Donlin, I kind of, you know, I'd asked because I knew Chase was coming back. I knew he was a great player. And, um you know, he deserves everything that he gets as well. It's his fifth year. He's been here for four years. And, you know, I wasn't trying to step on anybody's bound, on anybody's feet or anything. So um, to kind of hear that in the first phone call, that they were kind of, he was open to it and um, all that kind of stuff, it was, it was welcoming to me. Like, again, it just felt like I had been here already. And uh, I was really excited to hear that. Uh, but I'm really excited. I mean, you see college basketball nowadays and the teams that are most successful are the guys that are the teams that have two, three, you know, sometimes even four guys on the, on the court that can handle the ball at yep. once. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, that was really exciting for me. And we have a lot of guys who can shoot, handle the ball um, and run a lot of different offenses that kind of get the ball in different guys' hands that can make plays. And uh, that's what you need. So, um, I mean, Chase is going to be able to bring it up sometimes. I'll be able to bring it up sometimes, um, get us both in different spots where we're both successful. And uh, I think it's going to be a, a pretty good dynamic. And that was such a fun piece to hear from him about you know, you being able to come in and alleviate that pressure right. and being able to feed off of each other, we know how mm-hmm. important that is. Just give Clemson fans a little insight, man, because, yeah. you know, obviously playing against you for those four years, people know, but mm-hmm. what do you feel like you're going to bring to this team to help mm-hmm. them get it back to the tournament and take that next step? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, this offense is, you know, it, it's kind of what I'm known for and what I like to do. Um, but the biggest thing for me is just being competitive. Um, you know, I like going out there, being fiery, um, you know, when the game comes along and uh, just competing. I mean, that's kind of what I've made myself off of. I mean, I'm not the biggest, fastest, strongest guy ever. And um, to be successful at this level with a guy like myself, you kind of have to be fiery and competitive. And I think for me, um, that's just what I have as a mindset. Um, you know, coming in each and every game, I want to be able to show that you know, I'm just going to compete, I'm going to fight, and uh, you know, try and win every game that I can. Yeah, and now obviously with Coach Beheim in Syracuse, two-three zone. Yeah, we understand yeah. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here, Coach Brownell, you ready to play some man-to-man? Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I mean, that actually played a big factor into to the decision as well. As you know, I knew eventually you're going to have to do it, and. Uh, Coming to Clemson, I knew that you know the coaches are all defensive-minded, and you know I've played against them for four years, and it seems every all four years, you know I've had a few good games here, I've had a few bad games here, but it seems like every time I was working my hardest because their defense is so great, mm-hmm. and uh, you know they have such great strategies, such great techniques, and all that kind of stuff. I knew I needed to go somewhere where I was going to be able to pick it up so fast, and these guys are great at that. So um, it was a good opportunity for me to come here, learn some man-to-man, and you know it's been great so far, and um, these guys are helping me out a lot. And look, you still got to be able to guard in the two three, okay? Oh, yeah, you still of course. Be able to play some defense. <laughs> you got to run around. the day, like we, no one cares about defense. <laughs> yeah. Just, well, yeah. Just shoot the it's ball. all about yes, offense. Yes, hundred yes. <laughs> percent. On this Brunel. side, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this side. Coach Brownell's not here yet, so we yeah, yeah, we can't let him know. We'll tell him about this. <laughs> what about PJ too? I mean, uh-huh. you played against PJ. You know what kind of athlete and talent he is. Mm-hmm. How fun has it been to play with him in practice so far? Yeah, it's been great. He, he along with Chase, he was another, like I said, one of those key pieces coming back. I knew that I was really excited to play with when he started going to the combine and. All that kind of stuff was happening. I was getting a little nervous. You're like, uh, hey, I was calling, yeah. him, I was calling <laughs> Coach Brownell to make sure that he was coming back. Um, but no, he's a great kid, great teammate, um, someone that's fun to be around. And uh, you know, it's a. Uh, I played with a great big before. Jesse Edwards was great. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what he did. And but I think PJ is great in a different way. He has a different style. He can step out, shoot the three, handle the ball a little bit, and uh, is a pretty good mover. So um, it's a different style playing with a different big. But I'm really excited about it. PJ brings a great dynamic. He's a competitor as well and uh, someone that's going to bring a lot of fire and a lot of you know, winning attributes to our team. Yeah, so I, I've probably got the most um, important question mm, of the day here. here right. go. Uh, <laughs> and you probably know where I'm going with this, mm-hmm. but uh, you, you were at a place in Syracuse yep. um, that had a, a pretty good barbecue spot, Dinosaur Barbecue. Yes, Been there, love it, got the big you know, dinosaur bone, <laughs> uh, the short rib there. Yep. Uh, but we got a little place here too. Um, you got to compare and contrast. Walk right. me through every piece of this. All right. With so, the smoking pig, of course. First and foremost, I did like Dinosaur Barbecue. I know a lot of people were, were on me for oh, saying yeah. the smoking pig good is better. Spot. But I did like Dinosaur Barbecue. It was great. I just like the smoking pig, the atmosphere. You know, I'm a big golf guy. They got the mini golf mm-hmm. outside. Ooh. They got the beanbag toss, all that kind of stuff. So in terms of the whole experience, the smoking pig is, is top notch. And uh, food-wise, I think it's pretty good, too. I mean, not to say Dinosaur Barbecue is not, <laughs> um, but... 
just for me, the smoke a pig, the whole experience of it. Um, when my parents come up here, I'm definitely taking them there just to show that's them. Right. And uh, that's that's like every time I have a visitor, I'm like, all right, we gotta go to smoke a pig. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just upset that it's only open like what three right. Right. Yeah. times a week. So, uh, but whenever anybody comes, I'm definitely taking them there. That's yeah. right. And this show is not sponsored by Smoke Pig. <laughs> right. yeah, so maybe one this. day. Maybe maybe the future. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you have to have a go-to spot. So yes, smoke and pig is going to be without yeah. a doubt. You talked about though playing here a few times in Little John. Yep. Talk about just how this place can get electric yeah. and how loud it can get for mm-hmm. a smaller arena. Yeah, no, no, 100%. This place fills up. And I think, um, you know, a lot of it is because Clemson's like its own little town and its own little city, whatever you want to call it. And these people are so proud and so uh, prideful about their Tigers. And, uh, you know, they show up to each and every game, love their sports. And my first day here, um, it was when the baseball, you know, World Series was, World Series was going on. And obviously, the team was good and everything, but. Just the way that that stadium was packed, mm-hmm. it kind of just showed how much you know these people really care about the Clemson sports and how much they support it. So um, it's really exciting. I know that uh, Little John gets packed. I've been here a few times when it has mm-hmm. been, when these guys have been rolling, especially last year. And uh, it gets rowdy, and it's, it's it's definitely a fun environment, a great place to play, and uh, definitely an advantage for us. So I'm really looking forward to it. No doubt about it, Joe. Man, this was a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Appreciate your mm-hmm. insight and uh, good luck this year, man. We're Thank you so for much. You. This was awesome. PJ Hall, man, welcome. Welcome back to Clemson. I know there was a yeah. time we were just talking with Joe, and he was, we didn't know what was going to happen. Is he going? <laughs> Is he staying? Uh, so, so welcome back. Thank you for joining us. And just kind of want to start there, man. Uh, you know, you decided to come back. I know how important <clears throat> Clemson is to you, uh, how important this team is to you. But what ultimately led to you that decision to come back? Uh, you know, I mean, I knew that coming into this year, we're going to have a real special team, special guys, uh, great staff around us. And so I knew that we were going to have an opportunity to do something special. Yeah. Uh, alongside of that, um, you know, I talked my family a lot, talked to my girlfriend, prayed about it all the time. And, you know, I really wasn't ready to grow up yet. You know, I'm still a college kid, got, right. got one more year. And so it was, it was uh, at the end of the day, it was a tough decision, but wasn't a tough decision. I, uh, I didn't want to leave. And so I, I knew that this is the place for me for one more year. That's awesome. Stay in school as long oh, as yeah. you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the best place. Best that degree. Uh, <laughs> what did you learn in that process, though, when you were in the combine and kind of testing out the waters? What did you learn? Uh, I learned really the biggest thing is to go out there and really just, I mean, not have any nerves. And that's, that's probably one of my mm-hmm. biggest strength is, strengths is just to go out there and play. Uh, I was never a great baseball player, but, like, I was a pitcher. I was decent. So, like, whenever I was pitching, it was like, you know, just go out there and throw the ball, yeah. pl- plunk the first batter, <laughs> next, next guy walk up, don't worry about it. So, like, you know, it really wasn't a uh, – it was a great process to realize that you're just hooping. You're just yeah. out there playing ball. At the combine, they give you some actions, uh, really nothing special. It's the action we run here, actions that run in the NBA. You're just out there hooping. Mm-hmm. And so knock some rust off, get some, uh, get some nerves out, and, you know, it's, it, it, like I said, you're just playing ball. Yeah. Now, PJ, you've had several years in this program and obviously an opportunity each offseason to get better. What have you been working on this offseason to get ready for this season? Uh, really just polishing off a lot of the stuff that I already do. Uh, I'd like to be able to shoot the ball at a little higher clip. Um, shot it close to, I think, like 40% last year. I'd like to be at like 43. Uh, and then, oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be that's, great. A, that's a nice increase. <laughs> yeah, and then... Uh, um, and obviously, coming on from last year, I was not healthy the whole yeah. year. And so that was the biggest point of emphasis was getting that time off. And it was going to happen naturally, uh, having that time to get my knee better, uh, get in better shape, cut down on the little fat that I had. And it's, it's been a very productive summer and just polishing off some sharp edges. It's, yeah. been, it's been great. Has your mindset been different because you are healthy? Yeah, I mean, like, it's always been... I wouldn't say different because even when you're health, you're not healthy, you have the same mindset of attacking rehab and kind of getting back to where you need to be. Yeah. Uh, even last year when I was, you know, three months to the season, I just had a surgery. It was like, all right, like time to get back at it. So it's really not anything different. It's more just a different uh, goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of trying to get back healthy now, what can you get better at while you're healthy? And so it was, uh, it was definitely, a, like I said, a very productive summer. Well, another part of the productive summer was Coach Brownell going into the portal, bringing in yeah. some guys. Yeah. Uh, Joe Girard, who we've talked to, is here from Syracuse. You played against him a lot. Joseph. What were, <laughs> yes, Joseph. If we're, we can go legal name here. Uh, yeah. What were your? What did you remember about playing against Joe? And then what was that process like when you heard, okay, we're going after him? Remember, you can't go under screens. That's the biggest yeah, that's thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you better be up to the level of it. Yeah, a couple of times I got caught sagging back on ball screens. It's, it's a quick trigger. Yep. He, I, I loved it. I love watching him shoot, and it's, it's such a pure, effortless shot. We, I mean, we just got done in the morning shooting. It's, he's getting mad about, like, we're doing a Houston 100 drill where you get 100 shots on a drill. He's getting mad about, like, 85, and I'm over there, like, 
trying to break 70. This <laughs> guy's <laughs> crazy. But, uh, you know, along, alongside him, we went and got a few other guys, uh, Jake, Jack, and Boz. It's, uh, Coach Brown did a great job in the portal this year, and uh, I think Joe is going to be a great addition for us, like you said. So, so what does that look like, man? Because you, you bring in some new guys. Uh, people are trying to find out their way maybe, but also an, an established team, a team that was yeah. very good last year. What have you seen from, from maybe guys like yourself, Chase, bringing them in and saying, hey, you know, you're here to play, but also here to lead? Yeah, I think that uh, one thing that really testifies to our leadership and our fellowship in the team is like just how well we get along. Uh, we bring in these new guys and right away, I mean, we're just hang out, we go bowling, we go hang out and eat food together, watch games. Uh, lots of us golf. Uh, so me and Joe golf all the time. As soon as we got down here, that might have been the first thing we did. I actually, I tried to go golfing on this visit, but uh, on. We, we, didn't, we didn't have any time for it. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it really is a testament to just kind of the guys we have. Uh, no, like new guys come in as soon as they get here, it's uh, they mesh pretty fast, right. and so it's been it's been great for us. How's the golf game? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got like down. Two? Oh no, no, no! Hey, I did get down to about eleven. Did 11, you? 11 oh, wow. right. Right. I, I got fitted. Uh, right after the school year. Uh, I was going to say, so, you need custom clubs, don't yeah, you? I, that was, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. It, it was a huge deal. And wow. it, it, thankfully, um, NIL space helped me get some That's clubs. Right. And so, <laughs> yeah, I, I got fit in. I, I dropped down about an 11. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I've been getting good. That's awesome. Oh, he, Joe's a little better than me. He's probably like a 10 or a 9 or 10. Right. Yeah. But, you know, when you're out there, it's a mind game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. getting his head. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he's been doing in off season. He's been yeah. yeah. improving yeah. on his golf exactly. game also. Hey, now, one of the things that I've been able to see, even when you're on the free throw line and you're shooting free throws, you're trying to – Amp this crowd up at Little John. So you seem to be that energy. I did that type one time. I, 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 I actually, I couldn't. I probably couldn't do it again because I would be thinking about it then. Right. Like, when I did it the first time, it was like I just did it. You just I, did it. And then I made it. And I was like, ooh, better, better make that. <laughs> better make yeah. it. That's right. So, but uh, you know, I, I, that was that was really funny. But yeah, like you said, I mean, it's. When I'm out there, I don't. I'm not thinking about what I do. Yeah. I'm just. I've always thought about like it's like a dog chasing a car. Like you just kind of. You're just kind of doing. Just, just doing so, it. And yeah. you seem to be an energy guy. Have you always <laughs> been that way? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's kind of my personality. My mom is like that. Uh, growing up, my my dad is. I mean, he he's a pretty big energy guy too. But he's also very stern and about the rules and by the book. And so I was more a little bit like my mom. Um, just you know, a little more fluent, a little more loose and, and fun. Yeah. So. Uh, shout I love you, Dad, but yeah, you're, 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 a little, you're, a little, you're a little more stern. <laughs> dad better be watching. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, and he knows it. He knows, yeah, well, that's how Dad should be, right? That's yeah. right, yes. PJ, we asked Chase about this, but, you know, last year we all know what happened. You guys had a great season, 14-6 mm -hmm. and six in the league. That's unheard of at Clemson. That's an amazing record in the ACC. Don't make the tournament. We all think that's crazy. Yeah, we yes. know where we stand. What kind of motivation is that for you guys going into this year? Um, you know, I mean, I've been – thinking about last season since the season ended um you know it's it was heartbreaking I still have people come up to me and it's like oh I hate it for y'all I'm like all right like you're just cutting up a new wound like it's uh oh. it's um it, it was definitely rough but you know at the end of the day at the end of the day you look back and you're like oh 14 and 6 but I right, still didn't make it and there were a few games where we put ourselves in the position not to make it uh, a couple of tough losses that never should have been there you can't shoot yourself in the foot like that and so uh, the biggest motivation for me is just not leaving a doubt this coming season mm -hmm. that, um, that we're one of the best teams in the country. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, as we go out there next season, is, you know, like I said, just never leaving a doubt. Yeah. So, yeah. so along those lines, I mean, what is the ceiling for this team? How are you going to mm -hmm. get there? What do you like what you've seen in camp and, I mean, and in the season? Yeah, the ceiling is, I mean, the ceiling is as high as you want it to be. Uh, as long mm -hmm. as we continue to progress and go out there and play like we can, uh, we can – I, I think this is a team that we can win the league yeah. uh, regular in the tournament mm -hmm. and then as well as going in the tournament at Final Four. I mean, that's that's really what I've always dreamed of coming right. to Clemson. Being a hometown kid, that's been yeah. my dream to go out there and play in front of those big kind of crowds and those huge stadiums yeah. and, and uh, big environments and bring home banners and stuff for this yeah. school and no establish this, this program. No doubt. Yeah. Let's do it, baby. Ooh. Let's yes. go. Yes. Man, this, this is super fun. Uh, thank you for joining us today yes, and uh, good luck. Good luck all year. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Did you know Ingalls only sells USDA choice and prime cuts of meat? Maybe it's time to reward yourself. Our butchers cut all our meat fresh in the store every day. Grass-fed, organic, you name it. Not only that, we'll even cut it to order just the way you like it. And we grind meat fresh in the store multiple times a day. It's all in the bag. That's the best meat in town for the best folks in town. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings.
That's a wrap here at Little John Coliseum. Thanks again to Ben and Clemson for the access here with our guys at Clemson Hoops, the Asheville Championship, November 10th and 12th. Get your tickets. Come this on. team, Mac, this Clemson team could make a run. Hey, listen, talking to all these guys, talking to Coach, got me jacked up, got me excited for this season. A great preview. You guys just heard it. Uh, but we need your help, too. We need you to go over to YouTube, subscribe, leave some comments in the chat there, and also go over to Apple Podcasts, the OGs. Rate, review, subscribe. We would greatly appreciate that. But that's it from Clemson. Always great to be home. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.